Another classical problem in projectile motion is, of course, from the circus. Here we have a cannon in the circus, a person that's crazy enough to go through this, being shot out by the cannon at a speed of 20 meters per second at an angle of 45 degrees. And 50 meters away, a net will be positioned to catch this, this person. And the question then would be, how high should this net be positioned so that the person will actually land in the net instead of somewhere else where there would be more severe consequences? So how do you handle this? So again, you say, well, let's do time in the air. But before you do that, you probably want to go ahead and find your x and y components of your initial velocity. So here's your v initial in the x direction, which is equal to 20 times the cosine of 45 degrees. And here we have the v initial in the y direction, which is 20 times the sine of 45 degrees. Because the angle is 45 degrees, the speed will be the same for both the x and the y direction. So 45, take the sine, times 20 equals, so it'd be 14.14 meters per second in either case. So 14.14 meters per second in the y direction and 14.14 meters per second in the x direction. Again, I added a few significant figures so I don't have any round of errors when I do the problem. So next we want to find time in the air, but since we don't know the final height, we cannot use the y direction to find the time in the air, but we can indeed find the time in the air using the x direction because we know the x distance. So here we can say time in the air, and we're going to use the x direction to do that. So here we can say that x is equal to v initial in the x direction times time, or time is equal to x divided by v initial in the x direction. So the distance is 50 meters, and v initial in the x direction is 14.14 meters. And so there we get 50 divided by 14.14, or 3.54 seconds. Time in the air. So here's an exception to the rule. Typically we use the y component to find time in the air, but in this case we actually find the x component because the distance was known. So now we need to find the height. And of course to find the height you use the equation y is equal to y initial plus v initial in the y direction times time plus one half g t squared. Realizing we start at the ground level and realizing that the final height is h, we could say h is equal to zero plus v initial in the y direction, which would be 14.14. The time is known, we calculated it to be 3.54, minus 4.9 times 3.54 squared. So here you can see that we just have to plug in the time in that equation, and we find out what the height is. So we square that number, we multiply times 4.9, that is minus, so we subtract that from, plus the quantity, 14.14 times 3.54 equals, and we have a problem. Height is equal to minus 11.2 meters, because this quantity right here, 3.54 squared um, times 4.9, is already, this would be like a minus 61.4, and this quantity right here, 14.14 times 3.54, is only 50, and so 50 minus that quantity right there is less than, hmm, that means you have to put the net right here, below ground, and that means that the, that the person would actually go like this, and that's a problem. So, how can we remedy that? Well, for one thing, at the 45 degree angle, it already will go as far as it possibly can go, so either we shoot the person at a higher speed or we bring the post down somewhat closer. So maybe instead of putting the post 50 meters away, we may want to put the post maybe at 40 or 30 meters away and then position the height. So realizing that, could we remedy the problem uh, that way? So let's say that we're going to change this now and make it a 30 degree distance. Make it 30 degree. Me, or not 30 degree, but 30 meter distance. All right, so now we bring the pole in. The pole will be somewhere in this region right here. The net will be somewhere over here. And that means that this becomes 30, which means a different time in the air. All right, so let's try that. So we have 30 
divided by 14.14, and that would be 2.12 seconds. So now the new time would be uh, 2.12 seconds. And then we come over here, and we make this uh, 2.12, and we make this 2.12, and see if we get a better situation. I don't think this person wants to volunteer for it if the pole was 50 meters away. All right, so let's try that. So we square that number, we multiply it times 4.9, and we make that the negative. It's a minus 22, and then we add to that 14.14 uh, times the new time of 2.12 equals, and that's a much better thing. So now we have the height being equal to 7.9 meters, and so let's say here that would be 7.9 meters, and we could have a successful cannon blast. I don't know what you would call it, but um, definitely the person has much more of a chance of surviving if we put the post 30 meters away, and then at the 7.9 meters, notice that at 50 meters away, the person wouldn't go far enough and hit the ground well before reaching the net. So that's how you do a problem like that.